Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our show with a selection of 30 retro photos. Write in the comments the most interesting photo in your opinion. Appreciate our work by subscribing and commenting with your favorite photo. And don't forget enjoy the show, and we're start. Enchanting Sophia Loren in a beautiful dress, 1960. August 1957. Nantucket, Massachusetts, Jock Giffords, Pink Heap, Beach Buggy. From circa 1946 comes this 35mm Kodachrome of Jim and Jack Hardman and their Christmas train set in Upper Montclair, New Jersey. Tioga County, New York, circa 1901. Bridge over the Susquehanna at Owego. Circa 1906. Great Flying Bird Cage, Zoo Park, Washington, D.C. nineteen oh six the french market new orleans yes they have bananas and you can compare apples and oranges too new york circa nineteen oh four goat carriages in central park Memphis, Tennessee, circa 1910. Confederate Park and Front Street. October 1938. Shafter, Kern County, California. Halloween party at FSA camp for migratory agricultural workers. January 1942. Fort Worth, Texas. Meacham Field. Civilian pilot training. Students learning about wing construction. January 1942. Fort Worth, Texas. Meacham Field Civilian Pilot Training School Instructor and Students, Control Tower in Background October 1939 Chafee County, Colorado Paul Arnold, son of FSA client Herding Turkeys Washington, D.C., circa 1873 to 1916. Unidentified woman with dog. Date based on span of years of bell collection. Washington, D.C., circa 1905 to 1908. Searite, Will. The Stunning Eckberg Anita 1962 February 1936 Mexican Quarter of Los Angeles 
one quarter mile from City Hall. Area has been condemned and will be torn down shortly to make space for the new Union Railroad Station. December 1940. War boom in a New England industrial town. Mr. and Mrs. Leslie Bryant in their trailer about two miles out of Bath, Maine. Mr. Bryant works in the shipyard. They have been living in the trailer for two months. August 1941. Small town scenes in Vermont. In the square, facing the main street in St. Albans. November 1939. Main Street of Wendell, North Carolina, Negroes on way to work in Tobacco Stem Factory. September 1941. Washington, D.C., Scutts Court, i.e., Schatz Alley, with Senate Office Building in background. For very small dark rooms rent for $15 and $18 per month with water and privy in yard. September 1941. Washington, D.C., Scutts Court, i.e., Schatz Alley, with Senate Office Building in background. For very small dark rooms rent for $15 and $18 per month with water and privy in yard. June 1942. Bridgeton, New Jersey. National Broadcasting Company, making a record for national use, at FSA Agricultural Camp for Workers, many migrants, employed at Seabrook Farms. Actress Merle Pertile in a cute photo shoot. August 1942. Fort Kent, Maine, vicinity. FSA clients of French descent on the main Canadian border. Wife of Leonard Gagnon, Acadian FSA client, spinning domestic wool for knitting. September 1942. Richwood, Nicholas County, West Virginia. Saturday afternoon. September 1942. Local Dance Hall in Richwood, Nicholas County, West Virginia. Photos document U.S. Department of Agriculture efforts to recruit adolescents and adults as farm labor to relieve manpower shortage for harvesting New York State crops. April 1942. Mr. Oliver Coleman, drummer, looking over some music scores in the study of his apartment on Indiana Avenue. Chicago, Illinois. September 1942. Richwood, West Virginia. Lois Thompson, Printer's Devil on the Nicholas Republican Newspaper. September 1942. Batavia, New York. Elba FSA Farm Labor Camp. Recreational director watching boys play checkers in recreation tent. They are among voluntary migrant labor from West Virginia and New York City relief rolls arriving in upstate New York to harvest crops. Spring 1941. View under Roebling Suspension Bridge of Cincinnati from Kentucky side of the Ohio River. Waterfront showing numerous business houses, King Bag Company, Queen City Rag Paper Company and others. July 1942. Lunchtime in the wartime capital. People's Drug Store on G Street NW at noon. July 1942. 
July 1942. Detroit, Michigan, vicinity. Standard oil truck used during a rubber scrap drive. July 1942. Detroit, Michigan. View from Fisher Building of Traffic at 5.30 on 2nd Avenue at Grand Boulevard. July 1942. Top of Detroit City Hall dwarfed by the modern Penobscot building in the background. June-July 1942. Washington, D.C. Cashiers checking out customer purchases with ration book number one at the Giant Food Shopping Center on Wisconsin Avenue. Giant Food Store is a self-service market chain handling all types and many varieties of food and household appliances. June 1942. Washington, D.C. A bicycle rental shop on 22nd Street, near Virginia Avenue NW, on Sunday. Perry's Fear and Ramp at 1939 New York Words Fair. Washington, D.C., circa 1921. Auto fire, Young Simon. The cremains of an Alco motor truck insured by Young Simon. September 1960. New York. Demonstration to free Ukraine from Soviet rule outside the United Nations building during Nikita Khrushchev's visit for opening session of the 15th General Assembly. Christmas PJs December 25, 1951. Grace and Sally clash in the latest episode of Minnesota Kodachromes. From around 1970, somewhere in suburbia, comes this Kodachrome of two lovely lasses attired in Easter egg pastels, and a tricycle not long for this world. Today in the Shorpy showcase of random Kodachromes, a slide dated NOV 73. New Jersey Cadillac, South Florida House. Here we are back on Schwinn Street, which turns out to be in New York. With a teensy tyke on yet another tiny trike. May 1943. New York. Woman and her dog in the Harlem section. Charming Jane Mansfield in a beautiful dress. Bustling Jacksonville, Florida, circa 1910. Forsyth Street looking east from Hogan. Natural Bridge, Virginia, vicinity, circa 1913. A Virginia water mill, the old red mill on Cedar Creek. Washington, D.C., circa 1940. Potomac Electric Power Company, air conditioning and lighting, Chaz Schwartz Sun, Jewelers.
Washington, D.C., circa 1940. Potomac Electric Power Company, Air Conditioning and Lighting, Chaz Schwartz Sun, Jewelers. January 1942. Memphis, Tennessee. Cars parked on Mississippi River Levee. January 1942. Auto Graveyard, U.S. Highway 80, between Fort Worth and Dallas. January 1942. Roadside Stand, U.S. Highway 80, Texas, between Dallas and Fort Worth. January 1942. Fort Worth, Texas. View of Main Street and Tarrant County Courthouse. February 1942. Robstown, Texas. Farm Security Administration Migratory Farm Labor Camp. Packing Plant. Radishes. May June 1939. Atlanta, Georgia. Woodworking Shop at FSA Warehouse Depot. June 1939. Grocery Store. Sylvania Savannah, Georgia. July 1942. Grant County, Oregon. Malheur National Forest. Measuring logs to determine board feet. July 1942. Grant County, Oregon. Malheur National Forest. Loading large logs on truck for transport to railroad flat car. July 1942. Nyssa, Oregon. Japanese American boys at the newsstand on their weekly visit to town. August 1941. Cambridge, Maryland, home of Phillips Packing Company Tomato Canning Plant. August 1941. Cambridge, Dorchester County, Maryland. Service station on Gay Street. October 1941. Windsor Locks, Connecticut, vicinity. An Italian farmer and part owner of a harvest market. October 1941. The rich and the poor crowd into the Berkshires to enjoy the fall coloring. Mohawk Trail, Massachusetts. October 1941. Berkshire Hills County, Massachusetts. Tourist camp stretch in an endless village along the Mohawk Trail through the Berkshires.
October 1941. Berkshire Hills County, Massachusetts. Members of a motorcycle troop out to enjoy the fall coloring along the Mohawk Trail through the Berkshires. September 1941. First evening in the new home. FSA Defense Housing Project in Hartford, Connecticut living in a defense boom town is expensive, so both work, husband at Pratt Whitney and wife in a restaurant. October 1941. Scenes in the Finger Lakes region. This diner depends on the truckers for its trade. Near Cortland, New York. October 1941. Deserted diner near Syracuse, New York. Serving, best, ice cream, merely, good, coffee, and, yum. Regular, dinners. October 1941. Williamstown, Massachusetts. Father reading to his children. December 1941. Washington apartment house turned into office space for the Foreign Function Bureau. This uncaptioned but intriguing entry from among the many photos taken by John Collier in and around Washington in January 1942 has his speed graphic pointed down through the top of a well-worn display case bearing a bounty of candy. May 14, 1942. Washington, D.C., filling up with gas on the day before rationing starts. May 14, 1942. Washington, D.C., filling up with gas on the day before rationing starts. May 1942. Arlington, Virginia. Auto refinishing plant. Mechanical paint mixer. June 1942. Bridgeton, New Jersey. Seabrook Farms, several thousand acres, where bird's eye foods are produced. Loading beans onto the delivery platform of the packing plant. July 1942. Bridgeton, New Jersey. Facilities for workers employed at the Seabrook Farms. Fourth of July picnic at Parvin Park. October 19, 1957. College Park, Maryland. British monarch Queen Elizabeth II on an official visit to the United States. The Queen attends a University of Maryland football game. Circa 1900. Main Street, Northfield, Massachusetts. Nantasket Beach, Massachusetts, circa 1905. General view from Atlantic House, Paragon Park and Resorts. Circa 1910. Post Office, Anasquam Station, Gloucester, Massachusetts. June 30, 1922. Washington policeman Bill Norton measuring the distance between knee and suit at the Tidal Basin Bathing Beach after Colonel Sherrill, 
Superintendent of Public Buildings and Grounds, issued an order that suits not be over six inches above the knee. June 1942. Escambia Farms, Florida. Grading eggs in the FSA Cooperative. The cooperative hires these men by the day to do the grading. October 1942. Long lines of A-20 attack bombers roll ceaselessly, night and day, through the Douglas Aircraft Plant at Long Beach, California. The Bonus Photo Strict Sophia Loren 1954 Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the end of our show, I hope you are impressed, see you again.